All right, everybody, let's do subtitling, which you might have a use for, or you might not have a use for, or you might create a use for it at this moment. Uh, I'm gonna go through, uh, if you already have an SRT file made, you can make them either through uh, Premiere or Final Cut, or you can use a cheap subtitling software like Subtitle Edit. Uh, it costs a few bucks and you can toss in a video and then you make your own uh, SRT file. But say you already have that done and you want to implement it into Final Cut to your file, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can do it either so you burn in the captions or you can do it so it's embedded, which means you can start it and turn it off, depending on what you need, if you need it or not. Uh, not all software is supported, but say your QuickTimes and the VLCs does. Uh, if you have a play function, it might or might not uh, support it. You just have to double check. All right, so jumping straight into it. Here I have an edited file and uh, we're gonna import our SRT. So what you do is you go up to your file import, but not import media like we usually do. We go into import captions. So there we go. And it is this SRT. Then you have to, or you should choose your language. Because if you do uh, several different languages on your SRT, so if you have that need, you'll have to name which is which, otherwise it's going to be crazy. All right, here we go. Import the Swedish for this time. And here you see it pops in all of your SRT files here. You can edit them if you find a typo of sort. You go in your mark a frame and you see here, here is your text for that specific one. Uh, and if you want to quote, you can just copy this text and put it in somewhere else if you need that. You can change your color of your text, you can change your boldness or underscore or cursive, but that's as far as you can change in this, this SRT style. Uh, and if you were happy with this, you would always double check that you have uh, synchronization, which means you check to see if the sentence starts at the same time and they say the same thing. And you always go to the end to make sure that everything is okay all the way to the end. Anyway, so if I was happy with this, and uh, my need at the moment is just to have a burnt-in subtitle, so which means that the video is on and the subtitle is always on. Then I just go up here to share, share my master file. I pick whatever setting it is I want to have for my video. We're just going to leave it at this for now. And up here in roles is where the magic happens. In video track, you have a button that says captions. And here you have the option of burn in caption, and it's currently on none. And then I can pick the Swedish, which is the language I picked there. And if I'm happy with that, I just press OK. And then I press next and share. And that would be burned in. If you saw up here, it says embedded CEA 608 is not highlightable. So if I want to embed it, I have to do something else first. I have to take it one more step. So we cancel this, we jump out, and then I'm gonna show you the extra step you have to take. So all you do is you mark all of these subtitles, you right click, and you duplicate captions to a new format. And the one they asked for was CEA 608. So I push that button, and they created another line of subtitles here. They look a little bit different, different font and whatnot. And mark it, you can change a little a few more things on this particular one, like the background of the text uh, block and uh, where it's going to be. You can place it in different places and align it differently. So that helps sometimes. There we go. Uh, you can still choose to use your SRTs instead, but you can have them in here for CEAs. There. And if we just uh, zoom out a bit, I thought I saw something red in here. Yes, I did. And this happens at times. And you mark your little thing and it says caption contains invalid character. All right, so we go up and we remove that character or change it. But in this case, I can probably just remove it. There we go. And now it's blue. Once again, double check that it's okay all the way to the end. You don't I have surprises later. Here we go, uh, yeah. Uh, you can also notice that it has now four layers of subtitles, and it has to do with how wide you made your SRT file sentences. 
So shorter sentences, they stay the same. Too long sentences become double. You can adjust this with uh, just cutting this in half and doing two uh, text lines instead. Say if I did something like that and I removed the top part here, maybe something like that. And I did the same thing with this with the end of it. There you go. There you go. Right, so now it's realigned in two lines instead again. And then we're just going to go share this and then we're going to push the other one in the captions that we looked at earlier. So settings, pick your source file video codec that you want. Go into roles, add captions and see, you can now embed it. So you pick the embedded one, you press OK and then you share. So when it's done, all you have to do is find the little subtitling uh, option wherever it is on the screen and then you can add and remove your subtitles, uh, which is great. So I hope you had a little bit of use of this. Uh, if you have any more questions or any comments, feel free to comment down below or send us an email or so, some sort. And then don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. So until next time, bye bye.